Hi, Chris here for Tenke Tech and welcome to the channel. And today it's breadboard for the Tenke Tech 101. So let's get started As I now. mentioned last week, they are very good for troubleshooting, creating, or even make things. But they also come in different colors, sizes, and shapes, as you can see here. Both small ones are very useful, especially if you want to use it on the shield, like you can see in the picture here. So you just have to remove the sticker here and put it on the shield as per the picture. They are very convenient for compact projects. As I showed you last week, but of course, because this one is a old one and is already all broken, I can do that. If you do that, you will break your sound, but you can see the kind of connections. Uh, now you understand a little bit better how it works. The ones that are highlighted in yellow are basically the power rails, right? They are those one here. You can see they are all connected together. By that I mean there is one plus and one minus. For you to understand better, I will remove the protective layer. Just be aware that when you do that, you cannot use it on any conductive surface. Now you understand why you will make connection. Feeling a little bit more. You can see now and understand how the columns and the rows are connected together and why we need to do the connection with different wires and the, the lines. Right? I hope you do understand now. I'm going to try to clip it on. You should hear a click. But it's always best to leave the phone, right? But I will clip them together. You can hear now. Right? As I just say, it's a whole one, well, we hold quiet so well together. This is another way you can uh, connect two breadboards together or more if you want a bigger working area. You can always break uh, them down later on if you want to. Like so. So you can hear. Yo, that it's a little bit tight, tight <laughs> but uh, don't worry. Uh, I will succeed without breaking them. So you can see now the... Uh, the connection here, I hope you can. Um, those are basically the clip that you put together, like so. And uh, once it's on, you saw earlier uh, it uh, stay there. <laughs> right. The thing is, you cannot, this one, I mean, what do we say, but you can see that the connection are smaller. Unfortunately, you cannot put this one to those, it won't fit. So now we are going to have a look at the said connection to the breadboard. One thing to note is the Arduino is not connected yet. You can try also to follow with the diagram who appears here on the left. First I put the positive or the negative. It doesn't matter since nothing is connected to power yet. Otherwise I do like and I do prefer to put the negative first or the ground if you prefer. Let me readjust this for you to see. And you can follow on the diagram on the left. This is where we are at for now. Okay, although I put it connected to the Arduino, it is not yet connected. Now we will do the LED. If you remember, there is a short leg and a long leg. Short leg being the cathode. You notice now that I plug the wrong way. This is due that I was referring to the schematic on the left, which is actually the Opposite, if you look at it, is connected on the red color, which is the positive one. So I'm just going to flip it around, okay? And now we have the positive in the positive and the negative and it will be connected later. You can see here, the whole row here, it's one positive, one negative. And we connected the positive to the positive rail. The only thing left is to connect the ground. What we will use now is the resistor. This is a 200 ohm resistor. I will do another series on that. If you connect it like this, nothing will happen. You remember why. First of all, it's connected correctly to the negative, which is in this case the cathode of the LED. And it goes to somewhere where there is no power. In our case, we are not going to add anything else. So we remove it and we put it in the negative rail, sorry, and on the cathode, which is the negative leg of the LED. So if you look at it, that's how it looks like. All right. You can see it's all in one lane. This concludes our circuits. However, on the schematic, I just need to add the 
connection which is made by the anode of the LED to the positive rail. This is a negative, it goes to the negative here, the whole rail. Alright, I can choose any one, any point I want on this rail. So now the connection is made, we are going to plug this into the Arduino. But first, let me introduce you to schematics. This is how it looks like, I'm sure you saw it already. You have the power source, which is the Arduino, then the resistor, then the LED, and back to the Arduino. This one, it's another tie that you can find. Note that they are the same circuits actually. The only thing that's worth and keep remembering it's the connection to the breadboard, which is a subject today. On such a note, I hope you understand that the circuit is now completed and we can bring out the Arduino in order to connect our finalized circuits and test it. Pretty sure it will work, but let's do it. Before that, our takeaway that breadboards are an easier alternative to soldering as they are very straightforward platform for prototyping and building circuit without having to mess up our arm. Now let's bring the Arduino and start plugging our wire. I will also bring the schematic in to show you what we are doing right now. It's this here, connecting the Arduino to the breadboard. You do notice that the LED blinks, means the Arduino is on and the sketch is running, as you can see here second on, two second off if you remember our sketch. If you do not, not to worry, it may be the first time you watch this video, the link will be down in the description. Back to our sketch now, which means as long as all the components and connection are securely inserted into the breadboard, we can proceed into the next steps and have our wiring starting with the ground, otherwise known as the negative black wire, which in our case is a dark blue one. After, we will insert the positive or red wire into the pin thing. We are still using the same sketch, a prototype, and see if our connection works, which it will, I assure you. And I like to point out that I will start indeed by the negative or ground wire always. As long as there is power, that's what I will do. I find it more secure. Once I put the ground wire, the black wire, and the red, as soon as this is done, you will see the LED start blinking. And this is what we are going to do now. Black wire into ground and red wire into pin 13. Of course, you will not start blinking as soon as I put the red wire in pin 13 because two seconds off, two seconds on. But you will see. Oh my, I timed it perfectly. <laughs> anyway, there it is, our circuit is completed, it's working, we troubleshoot a few things. Let me know if you like this section, Inketech 101 Electronics, the basics. You can always press the like button, subscribe if you want to, press the bell icon if you want to be notified. If you do not like this video, just drop a comment and tell me why. Bye now guys and stay safe.